Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Time to meet the sexy head nurse. Yeah. She's not, is she? Is it even a girl? Let's find out. <laughs> On the white door. On the left is a green cross with text head nurse as a nameplate. A voice from inside responds to my knock almost immediately, but I can't quite make it out. It sounded a bit like an invitation to open the door, so I invite myself further in. I, gen- I, hear <laughs> I gently open the door. Oh, God! <laughs> The room is not large, and it smells strange. A friendly-looking man turns around on his office chair to face me as I enter. His desk is... Does that computer have a mouth? <laughs> I don't know it, what that is. It it's looks like a weird... Like, yeah, it's yeah. like a penguin with like a human face. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> his desk is neat and tidy, but the bin under the table is overflowing with used medical utensils, and there are at least a dozen coffee cup rings lingering on the desk. Hi, sir. Oh. Hello there. What can I do for you today? Hi, smiling man. <laughs> My name's Brock. He is he is young looking and sort of rugged. Doesn't dim- look that rugged. Dimple, no. <laughs> and it dimples in his cheeks wash that impression away when he smiles. Um, are you the nurse? He smiles so like a person on the door, who dumbass. Had, his, had heard this very same question hundreds of times. Why, yes, I am. It says so on the door now. You can call me by my name or just the nurse like everyone else. Okay. <laughs> of course, I shake off my confusion, realizing I probably should grab his extended hand. His handshake is rather firm ah, and my friendly. extended hand! <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I'm a new student, and my homeroom teacher told me to come and meet you. My name is Hisao Nikai. His eyes... You can see his eyes? <laughs> his eyes stay exactly the same. <laughs> Closed, <laughs> and he snaps his fingers. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that Nakai. I was just reading your file this morning. We have like seven other kids with the same name. He just opened his eye. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Some kind of chronic arrhythmia and related congenital heart muscle defen- deficiency, right? That's me. Sure. I don't know. You're the one with the file. <laughs> you're the nurse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you tell me. <laughs> he gestures me to sit down in a vacant armchair in front of his desk. Uh, yes. Good. That's good. You're dying. <laughs> yeah. well, you've probably been briefed about the school enough, so I'll just go over this quickly. We have to quiz you every now and then and make sure you actually have a disability. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you don't have a mental problem, too. We have all kinds of faculties available, mostly physical therapy and such. Did they tell you about the pool? There's always yeah. someone from my staff around, even at night, so never hesitate to call us if there's a problem. I don't understand why there's a pool here. <laughs> Still. <laughs> the, f- the famous 24-hour nursing staff. Wow, this is like a hospital. What tipped you off? Well, not exactly. For instance, we don't do brain surgery here. Hardy, har, har. <laughs> I mean, I could. <laughs> His joke feels so out of place that I'm left thinking why he even said it. Yeah, just that it's really weird to have so many medical people at a school. You'll get used to it. I'm not so sure of that myself, but I don't let the nurse know it. You better fucking get used to it. Now, <laughs> let me just find your file again. I just had it, but I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> While he searches for something from his computer and shuffles stacks of papers around, I let my gaze wander around the room. Everyone at the school shuffles papers. <laughs> it's the epitome of generic. Hey, you read it right. I'd like to say, <laughs> yes. Every not... time I see that word, I say epitome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used to pronounce it that way yeah, before I, I knew too. how. <laughs> beige? Beige? Oh, beige walls and ceiling. Uh, dark gray laminate flooring and all the equipment you do expect from a school nurse's office even the ridiculous educational posters are hanging on all four walls reminding me to eat properly three times a day blah 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 all the food groups food pyramid (laughs) smiling the nurse draws a thick file from a stack of similarly thick files and opens it in the food pyramid like not a thing now Uh, yeah i think think they got rid of that i think it's a square now (laughs) (laughs) so you've already had you already have medication for the arrhythmia (laughs) <laughs> Just remember to take your pills every morning and evening, or it won't help be much help, yeah, and you'll a, fucking die. I got a list of like 30, so we're good. <laughs> Apart from that, uh, do you do any sports? Have a heart stuff? condition. Like, I don't know, boxing? <laughs> boxing? Who pulls he gr- boxing? <laughs> he grins to his own joke, but I don't. <laughs> Was that a joke? Oh, God. <laughs> Punch him right in the face. I'll show <laughs> uh, Well, I play soccer occasionally with some classmates. All right. I'm afraid I'm going to have to recommend you refrain from doing that, at least for the time being. Oh. <laughs> My lack of reaction <laughs> makes him raise an eyebrow. 
But really, I'm not too bothered by him forbidding me to kick a ball around. It's boring anyways. Why'd you do it in the first place? I guess I never did it out of burning passion for the sport, just to have something to do. There's video games and masturbating. Yeah, and, <laughs> and books. I mean, you, you yeah. liked books before. Well, that was after being in the hospital. <laughs> That's true. Any kind of concussion might be very dangerous to your heart, because your heart is in your head, and risking another attack <laughs> is not a good idea. And listen to your heart. It is calling for you. <laughs> Was the previous one caused by a sudden concussion, concussion to the chest area? There's no mention of the cause in your papers, because we're terrible doctors. You could get a concussion in somewhere other than your head? Yeah, that's not a concussion, is it? That's just I a, don't know. I don't, I'm not a nurse. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't seem to be very qualified either, though, so... He didn't even er, open his eyes. Er, not exactly. I sidestep the question acceptably, and he glances at me over his papers with a more serious expression on his face. It's because I had a boner, all right? <laughs> Still, you need to keep your body healthy, so some exercise would do you good. We have physical therapy and such, as I said, but I don't think you really need such heavy measures. You're scrawny. <laughs> Just get some light <laughs> exercise regularly. Brisk walks or even light jogging, jumping rope, that sort of thing. Swimming, maybe? There's a pool here. I heard. Did you hear about the pool? There's a pool. <laughs> we have a pool here. You have a pool here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a pool here. You were? Very good. What At was any here? rate, and I'm sure you've been told this before, you just need to take care not to here. overexert yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe you should go swimming in our pool. Uh, he wags his finger to emphasize the point. Uh, uh, uh. No need, really. <laughs> the pool's I've, over there. I've heard this a thousand times already <laughs> about the goddamn pool. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no unnecessary risks. Take care of yourself. Swimming's not too risky. <laughs> no. We threw some sharks in there. But... <laughs> well, okay. Okay. <laughs> he goes over my papers one more time and sets them on the desk, obviously content. Good, that's it then. Come meet me if you ever need anything. Now get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> I'm ushered out before I even realize it. A quick visit indeed. I noticed the pool on the way out. <laughs> hey, they were right. I end up standing in front of the main building and the auxiliary building, although to my eyes they still look the same. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the first real look I get at the other students. So I watch people coming out of the school, going towards the gate or the dorms. Everyone seems to know where they are going. And I still keep thinking that most of them don't look too special for being students at a special Speaking school. Of that, then again, neither do I. Every so often, it doesn't happen very often, but <clears throat> I don't have nightmares very often. But when I do, for some reason, most of the time, they involve me being at a school and I have a schedule and I don't know where any of my classes are. And it like gives me I a have panic attack. Sometimes. I've had that like three <laughs> or four times and I don't know why. Like I haven't been in school in... <laughs> yeah. Ten I, years? That's, Over ten That's kind of weird, because that's I hardly ever remember my dreams either, but whenever they're scary, it's, yeah, I'm lost. Yeah. And I'm either in a school, a mall, or um, just, like, an open road, yes. and I can't, like, find my way back. Like, I'm lost. See, mine's always a school, <laughs> and it's always, like, I have my schedule, and I go into a classroom, and they're like, this isn't where you're supposed to be. You're yeah. supposed to be somewhere else. <laughs> and then I'm back in the hallway by myself, like, okay, now what the fuck do I yeah, do? Yeah, I'm always lost in my dreams stupid but subconscious that's how my life is <laughs> <laughs> such is life does that make me one of them one of us <laughs> one of us <laughs> Google, gobble, Google, I, gobble. I notice a group of kids come out from behind the bush chanting one of us i should go somewhere too to prevent me from getting lost it's around dinner time but i feel tired instead of hungry the weariness in me only grows as i trudge towards the dorms set a little way apart from the main building complex there is a garden of sorts between the school and the dorms. Shrubbery, flowers, and that overbearing smell of fresh-cut grass that looks fills the nice. atmosphere. It does look very nice here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be here. Gigantic. <laughs> it dawns on my tired mind that the smell feels novel because I haven't been outside at all for so long. That's what we should have done when we were in high school. We should have just cut off each other's arms. Oh. Yeah, I don't think they have those kind of schools around here. They send you to, <laughs> <laughs> send you to a school of all hot girls that immediately right. like you. Right. I want to go. How it works. I want to go to the schools in these visual novels. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Be a little weird, the seeing as we're almost thirty now. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> the dorm building is big and made of red brick. Like the others, it feels way too pompous for what it is. So I push forward, going inside. Arrogant, dim. That thing's <laughs> Stupid everywhere. Stupid building, making me feel like an <laughs> asshole. It takes more time than necessary to fish out the key I was given from my pocket. Room one one nine. That's 911 backwards. <laughs> you better remember that. Despite the ornate exterior, 
the inside of my dorm is fairly new, functional, and boring. Just like me. <laughs> it's just like in the main <laughs> building. The halls and doors are wide to accommodate wheelchairs. The same goes for the elevators at the ends of the hallways. Apparently, the exit signs are written in hieroglyphics. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I poked my head around the corner of the common room door. That's how I would pronounce that. <laughs> woo! 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 <laughs> Inside, a few uh, students are watching the television. One nods and gives a quick hello before turning back to the TV. Seems like, seems that only the girls around here are sociable. I suppose that's perfectly fine with me. I, <laughs> I climb the stairs. I, I don't want to talk to other guys. I climb <laughs> the stairs bad. to the upper floor. <laughs> Here, small corridors branch off from the main hallway. Each of them, each of these minor halls, seems to have a toilet, a shower, as well as four rooms. About halfway down the hall, I spy room one one nine. The nameplates on the rooms adjacent to mine are blank. I guess there are just two of us here? No, the next, the ones next to mine are haunted. <laughs> Light shines from below the they door get given of, names. of room 117, so I knock lightly. Hello? Is anyone home? I would never do this. No. <laughs> Where's my choice to not do this? Because <laughs> yeah. that's what I would do. Go into my room and lock the door forever. <laughs> from inside, I hear a few movements, then the clicking of way more locks than I thought these doors had. After a moment, the door squeaks open. A bespectacled boy is standing in the doorway. He is looking at me very intently through his extremely thick eyeglasses. You want me or... Um, I don't know. Who did the last one? Um, oh, I did, did the, the nurse. nurse. Yeah. Who is it? Blind? No, at least not completely. Why would he have eyeglasses if he was? He leans closer to me until our noses are almost touching. His breath stinks of garlic. His sound He's been my doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving into the next room. I thought I should introduce my... His face suddenly brightens in realization, and he stands back upright, thrusting his hand out in smiling greeting, almost straight into my diaphragm. Oh, sup, dude. Name's Kenji. Uh, hi. <laughs> I take Kenji's sweaty hand and shake it, still a little rattled by the sudden change of attitude and ve vehement... Welcome. <laughs> yeah. There were some suspicious looking people going in and out of your room earlier. Yeah, it was probably my parents. They're pretty weird looking. <laughs> They're both FBI <laughs> my agents. My dad's Batman. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. We got to deal with that. Your, your, your parents? You sure? Because they could have been some other people too. You can't judge a book by its cover. His out of place proverb is left hanging between us awkwardly as I try to think of some way to respond. I'd say the chances are high enough. He shudders and makes some exaggerated hand gestures. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> You're a brave man, Hassan. Me, I don't think I could trust the chances. The only one I trust is myself. It's a conspiracy, man. <laughs> Does that mean I shouldn't get to know you either? You should trust him. He's a Gryffindor. Oh, you're right. He's <laughs> <laughs> freaking Harry Potter. <laughs> he thinks about this for a while. A wise decision. Damn, you are smarter than you look. Probably. Is that a compliment or? <laughs> what do you look like? I hope not smart. He squints his eyes and leaves closer again, but I lean backwards to dodge it. You smell like garlic, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you been eating? <laughs> Never mind, it doesn't matter. With that, he turns, fumbles around for a moment in search of the door handle, and shuts the door behind him. I thought he ran into the wall. <laughs> I slide the key. Legally blind. <laughs> I slide the key into the lock of the door marked one one nine. Ah, that looks comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Bleak beige walls, white linen, a desk made of some type of light wood, ugly curtains. It's no one's room. Impersonal, like my hospital room was. Well, put some shit on the walls then. It's your room. Yeah. My bags are sitting at the foot of my bed, looking a lot emptier than they did this morning. You can't get out the gate though to buy posters. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> the closet is sitting open, stocked with my clothes. Also, it seems that there are a number of school uniforms hanging there as well. A note is pinned to the sleeve of one of the shirts. Hey. Uh, hi, he chan <laughs> <laughs> We've unpacked your things and made your bed. They said that if, it, if these don't fit, that you should go to the office tomorrow. If you have any problems, you could always call us. Love, Mom and Dad. <laughs> By the way, this is Dad. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't have to worry your about mom unpacking. sounds like that, too. Yeah. <laughs> People start to sound alike when they're together a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of <laughs> hoped I would have, then there would be something to do. It's still too early. I put the note down on the desktop and lie down on the bed, feeling drained. 
lying there makes me want to read something, but I have nothing with me. So I just read the back of shampoo <clears throat> bottles. <laughs> I, what is xanthan gum? I wonder if the hospital conditioned me for wanting to read whenever I have nothing to do. The restless urge just keeps growing until I have to stand up. Maybe it's stress or something. I was pretty nervous about it before coming, and for the entire day, too. Today, too. I still am, I think. Damn, I have to distract myself somehow so I won't be this unnatural all the time. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so fucking weird. (laughs) I think too much in my own head. Tomorrow I'll go borrow some books from the library. You think in someone else's head? Yeah, I'll do that. (laughs) That'd be even more messed up. I kind of wanted to go to the library. Oh, well. But for now... Pills. Take some random pill clubs. <laughs> <laughs> That's just going to be referenced to yep. basically everything clubs. now. The bottles of, it, of medications near, neatly arranged on my night table catch my eye. I pick one up and shake it just to hear the contents rattle inside because I'm a child. And then Ooh, read text. the clued on <laughs> pharmacy label. Pills. I'm, that can be nurse voice. I mean, it's just the label. Hassan Mackay, <laughs> two tablets daily to stay alive. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really, oh, I guess I did read that. It doesn't really say that, but it could just as well. It's kind of twisted having your life depend on chemicals like this. I resent it a little, but what choice do I have? Everything is chemicals. That's not true. <laughs> Everything <laughs> is chemicals. <laughs> With a sigh, I begin my new daily ritual of taking the right number of pills from each bottle, being carefully careful to check the correct dosages i lie down again feeling hollow and uncertain and after that i keep staring at the blank unfamiliar ceiling for a long time dude you're boring yeah kidding (laughs) jesus (laughs) nobody here's gonna like you (laughs) and that's how my life is it doesn't start looking any more familiar (laughs) not even after darkness falls and long shadows draw across my room like fingers oh god all right before you turn in for the night. Let's call it there. Let's turn in for the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> All right. See you next time. Mm-hmm.